Hi, I'm Ravi. How are you guys doing today? I'm pretty excited for two things. First of all, I'm trying this new sleeky online presentation product called mm -hmm, from uh, the ex CEO of Evernote, Philip Libin, that I was quite excited and eagerly waiting for. I'm getting to try this. Do let me know how do you feel about it. I'm trying some jazzy stuff here and trying to be a little wacky. So, uh, and the next thing that I was excited about is the topic today. Uh, and I'm going to talk about that uh, now. So I was having a chat with a friend uh, last week and uh, we were talking about our age uh, since we are all the entire batch of, of, of our engineering college batch. Uh, most of them have hit 40 this, uh, this year. And uh, we all feel a collective pang uh, that life is just uh, slipping away. And uh, it felt like just yesterday when we were all in college. And if life is slipping away so fast, uh, when are we going to accomplish uh, all that we set out to accomplish, all our dreams that we were chasing? I, for one, have this growing sense of urgency within me, especially in the last few years. And as a result, I have been constantly trying to look out for better ways to be effective and efficient towards reaching my life goals. And in my search for such solutions, I chanced upon a book that uh, promised to achieve just that. As the title says here, let me help you out with the title here. Ooh. Isn't this cool? How to make time to accomplish meaningful things in a day. So this is not about goal setting in, in a life, but how to make every day productive so that at least you make some progress with meaningful achievements every day and uh, this is exactly what it is because i mean the the world the complicated world that we all live in is uh, is far from easy and it's just getting complicated and we are being overwhelmed with information overload and distraction overload and it becomes all the more difficult to just just navigate this world and 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 accomplish something meaningful. So I chanced upon this book and this book is um, titled Make Time to Focus on What uh, Matters Every Day. Um, and this is a book by Jake Nape and John Zeratsky. Uh, I've read their previous book uh, on, it, it was titled Sprint. Um, it's a great, um, the first book was great. So they had already set up good reputation. And then I started um, hearing about the reputation of this book. So I picked that book gingerly to see okay what all it offers and uh, it's a it's a huge book with lots and lots of ways on um, how to make time to achieve meaningful accomplishments every day uh, however i would just pick on things that uh, struck a chord with me and just give you a simple interpretation of it as i said the book is big but I will just uh, touch upon the most important essence of the book that I thought was relevant and you could uh, also apply it. Ha! Huh. So let me pull myself out of this and um, settle in a corner here. This is this is cool. <laughs> uh, so what what the book says is uh, most of us are unable to accomplish meaningful um, goals daily is because of two reasons and the two reasons are uh, busy bandwagon and uh, infinity pools now what is the difference between busy bandwagon and infinity pools Band busy bandwagon is of all the things that we are getting overwhelmed by over overflowing inboxes because it too you are never able to be on top of your inbox it's it's constant and non-stop and it's overflowing and the calendars are always stuffed and the to-do list never seem to rest because there's always something or the other that occupies your to-do list. So this is being, so one side is a busy bandwagon on the other side is infinity pool. This is outside of your work. We are surrounded with distraction and uh, infinite supply of content that is fresh. So I am supplying this content to you. For some of you, it might look like a distraction. So there's endless digital distractions like apps, notifications, and uh, they call it the distraction kryptonite because it just renders you powerless just like kryptonite kryptonite did it for uh, superman um yeah and uh, so to, to to so what's the what's the answer there the answer is 
so remember i mean before we begin so he, he the the author the both the authors they actually uh, talk about this concept of identifying highlights so remember what we are talking here is about accomplishing meaningful things in a day so the book recommends picking a highlight for the day which is the focal point so every day you will choose a single activity to prioritize and protect in your calendar it's not about the top 3 it's not about the top 5 it's about one single meaningful activity that you need that is the focal point and then how do you prioritize and protect that focal point in your calendar and the important piece is a highlight is not something that you have to do but that you want to do like it could be playing with your kids or reading that book that you have not read for long and also your highlight isn't the only thing that you will do each day but it will be your priority so it's is not like this is i mean th this is not the only thing of course you have to accomplish other things but this highlight is the priority goal for that day so yeah so it's the task that we definitely want to make time for it prevents you from getting drawn to busy bandwagon because you have identified what needs to be done and what's the priority for that day and it makes for an intentional and focused attitude because if you are intentional during the start of the day that we have identified one thing this one focal point that i would like that i would want to accomplish to make this to qualify this day as a productive day that would that would go uh, that would do wonders for the day what have we got next so with that said how do you pick a daily highlight all right um and this is this is important because if you see the the book recommends three qualities it could either be an urge, urgency satisfaction or joy now what we are trying to accomplish here is a life that is more joyful and less reactive uh, i often have had uh, so for me a good day would be oh where are my top 3 most important items that i need to tick off my to do list so it's always most important in terms of urgency and uh, say achieving a goal mo mo mostly uh, um, professional goals uh, at my workplace i had never thought of a day to um, i'd never stressed upon making a day joyful uh, making a day more meaningful so uh, so that's what so this is this book what it says is your your highlight need not be the most priority in terms of achieving a business goal for that day or a, or or a, or, a, or a task list for that day you can also pick a highlight which just adds more joy and i will give you an example that i just did last week and uh, it just it just made me happy now to some people some of your joyful highlights may look like waste of time like sitting at home and reading a book uh might not be an highlight for someone else but it could be uh, yours if you have not read a book for a long time say meeting a friend to catch up in, in a in a mall or a, a coffee shop even doing a crossword puzzle could be a highlight for you so i one of my favorite quotes that i really like is the time you intentionally enjoyed wasting is not wasted time and uh, this is this method is a great way to be intentional about adding joyful days so usually so as the book proposes that okay how do you how do you pick your highlight for the day you could pick any of the two or a mix of these three urgency what is the most pressing thing to complete that day satisfaction which highlight will bring the most satisfaction for that day and uh, the last one is joy which is that highlight will will which will bring me uh, immense joy for that day let me share that with the help of an example but before that there's a quote here which is my favorite and it says we do not remember days we remember moments and that's how it is i mean one of my favorite quotes that i clearly remember is when you die your entire life flashes in front of you make it worth watching so do you remember the regular days on how many tasks that you completed in your office work uh, no you would remember all those joyful days and those joyful days uh, make moments and those are the days that that are highlights for for your life and that's why it's called highlights because that those they contribute to making those peak moments in your uh, in your lifetime all right so how do you make highlight uh, so you 
when you identify your highlight from those three categories as i said after that you have to schedule it and after you schedule it it just makes it more intentional so that you cannot you have identified a time you have a time slot in your calendar you cannot escape it uh, so that is one so i'm just I, as i said i wanted to give you an example so last week so i have i've been doing this for the past one month uh, earlier i used to have as you can see in the top priorities task only three i always have the top three priorities for a day for a successful day but i never had a highlight so since last one month i have put this as the first uh, bullet and last week on diwali day i put this highlight just to make uh, that day joyful so i said make this diwali special how can you make it when everybody is under everybody is uh, is away from uh, socially right so uh, we, we are in lockdown and we are not able to communicate with our near and dear ones how can we still make this uh, diwali special so that was the highlight that i uh, that i was intentional about and uh, once you become intentional you start actively working towards it and at the end it turned out to be a great diwali day i spent the entire day uh, focusing and being uh, together with my wife uh, doing shopping and cleaning the uh, house and cooking together ensuring we had a great uh, call with all our family members and we had a gala time and i'm telling you it would not have been possible if i was not intentional if i if i had not made it as a priority for that day and this is what this this is not a task list this just makes it more intentional of what you want what is that one thing that you want to achieve uh, for a fulfilling day so yeah so make it a part of your daily ritual because this is this is a, a screenshot of my notion template uh, this is this has become my uh, my daily ritual not every day is a it's, i i pick a highlight which adds joy sometimes a pressing uh, need becomes a highlight but i think i made my point uh, clear here if you want to uh, just make it a habit make it as a part of your ritual first thing in the morning uh, is a great time to uh, convert this into a healthy habit excellent so with that i just wanted to uh, this was a short video i wanted to share this um, you can visit uh, successcoachravi.com for further information about everything that i offer and my next video i think if you have followed me on facebook uh, i have been talking about uh, this notion template that this dashboard i call the control panel of my life which gives me um, one single uh, dashboard to manage uh, most of my life i used to do this in evernote but i thought i was good at evernote until you are presented with a nicer solution that makes it look even uh, things even better uh, evernote was uh, I, i was not able to have this dashboard look on, on evernote uh, but that this is exactly why notion compelled me to in me out of evernote and i am in uh, notion today so my um, upcoming video will be on uh, this i will do a demo on how i you i created this control panel of my life my dashboard of my life and i'm going to present that i'm just taking some time because i'm i'm still trying to refine this a bit because this this tool is uh, new for me notion uh, so i'm still refining it but if you do not want to miss out on uh, such content uh, it will be great if you could um, just subscribe to my channel because subscribe then it's hard for you to miss out on the content i just don't create my own content i also have amazing guests Uh, that i source from all over the world and learn from them success secrets and i share it some amazing guests are lined up for the end of the year uh, so yeah please subscribe uh, so that you do not miss out on any of this content with that see you again bye bye